This little, this little IOP monster right here, this Patriot P300, it's a little IOP monster. I unfortunately only have the 512 gigabyte version and I don't have any other 512 gigabyte cards or M.2 in the office to test it with. So I'm gonna have to test this against a one terabyte drive and the one terabyte drives are usually a little faster depending on the brand you go with. But they advertise the write speed to be 1200 on the 512 versus the write speed on the one terabyte 1650 and then 1700 for the read on the 256 and the 512 but we have 2100 on the one terabyte so just think about that if you're looking at the one terabyte version it's going to be a little bit faster especially when it comes to the overall read and write but the iops are going to be pretty similar all the way across and that's kind of the main thing when it comes to this is you're going to get pretty much the same snappy performance the same super quick random stuff going on this is a drive that's very similar to a lot of the other ones that are coming out on the market right now uh, with the sm2263 xt controller they're saying like a two million hour lifetime on this so you've got a lot of good components here 3d uh, tlc nand flash memory from toshiba it's toshiba's bix or bics 3d tlc nand flash to be exact this allows the uh, drives to be a little less expensive uh, where it's getting like very good price to performance ratio it's not going to be comparable to the drives that have like lots of built-in ram or some of the drives that are like gen 4 by 4 this is a gen 3 pc express gen 3 by 4 uh nvme drive so it's going to fit right in the middle when it comes to price and performance but the iops on this are really the thing that makes me like be like you know what that's really freaking snappy also it's nice that they've included a three-year warranty all right so let's go ahead and compare this with the intel that i've been comparing a lot of things with so i'm looking at the intel p600 i've got a one terabyte version of that and that's a drive that's very well trusted and a lot of people use it and it's right in the middle when it comes to price to performance very similar to this so nice to put it up against that and as you can see here since the intel is a one terabyte drive we do have a slightly faster read speed on ass sd benchmark but when it comes down to it with the 4k randoms and stuff this is so much faster like it's gonna feel a lot snappier and then also super snappy with the access time here as well so it blows the intel out of the water even though it's a smaller drive now let's take a look at those iops and here's where you wow <laughs> the 4k 64 <laughs> we were getting over 300,000 on the right with the iops there uh, so that's looks a little freaky but yeah it's right within what they advertised and quite a bit faster than the Intel. So the Crystal Disk benchmarks, uh, they looked really nice. I mean, right within the specs that you see on the back of the box, 1700 on the read and 1540 on the right. And you can see the rest of it there on the screen. Um, not quite as fast as Intel again on the read because Intel is again a bigger drive, but quite a bit faster on the right. So overall, this is going to be a more performant drive. Next up, disk benchmark. I feel bad because the Intel is old technology right now and it's just getting stomped on by these new drives. Um, so again, just, yep, beat it all over the place. All right, so they advertised around 1700 when it comes to the read speed uh, and Addo, and we're getting right about 1600, a little bit over that. So not quite what they said on the box, but pretty close. And then the, the write speeds are actually a little higher than what they said on the box. So it's a give and take there. And again, it's quite a bit faster than the Intel, um, except for the Intel has a little peak right in the middle around the 16K and the 32K and the 64K. So that's an interesting thing, like right in the middle, Intel has sort of a peak and then slows back down to around, you know, 1,000 or 900 uh, when it comes to 64 megabytes down there at the bottom. So interesting there when it comes to the speed. Now let's talk about the temperature. I test these without a heat sink, just so you can see how it's gonna run right out of the box. You know, you plug it in, how's it gonna run? So idling, it was at 29 degrees. The Intel idled at 45 degrees Celsius. At full load, after doing a couple tests, and I tested this right toward the end of the pass mark uh, test, 55 on full load. The Intel got all the way up to 70 on full load. So again, newer technology is making this really nice. Now, one of the things that keeps the price low is instead of putting all the RAM on here, it's actually using a buffer and using some of the system memory on uh, your computer with, with Windows 10. It's uh, something called HBM. Uh, technology and uh, I have not tested this with Linux so I'll have to test this with Linux it'd be nice to see if there's a difference when it comes to IOPS and that sort of thing because the RAM would help but with it you know working together with with Windows not such a big deal uh, some of the hardware here keeps the build of materials cheaper while allowing you to still have high quality parts and at the same time keeping the price low so this is a really sweet spot 
And uh, between the last couple of drives I've looked at, I also looked at Alexar uh, recently, but the IOPS on this one are really impressive. So um, really it's going to be sitting down and looking and seeing what the prices are because, you know, it's very similar as far as some of the other drives coming out there with the bill of materials, the controller, um, and just the specs overall. Very similar to a lot of stuff coming out there. But all in all, a really good deal when it comes to Gen 3x4. So, you know, look online. If this one's, you know, a couple dollars more expensive than a similar one, it might be still good to go with it. But if it's, you know, less expensive, then definitely go with one of these. Uh, really nice drive from Patriot, the P300. Head over to EpicPants.com. Get yourself a t-shirt. Get yourself a, a mouse, keyboard. Only if you can afford it because we don't need you spending money you should be spending on groceries and medical bills and necessities at a time like this. But hey, if you got some extra cash and want to get a t-shirt or a mouse, EpicPants.com is where to do it. Keep yourself from uh, being uh, naked and, and lonely. We'll see you guys in the comments.